everybody. Now we have an Asus laptop in for service. We're going to be replacing the hard drive in this. This is an Asus model A53U series. And to get access to the hard disk drive, it is right under here, right under this door. Just going to dig out a Phillips head screw driver. It should be pretty easy. Let's see if my tripod is going to cooperate today. Don't ever buy a target tripod unless you want something that breaks within three months. This tabletop tripod is a piece of junk. Anyways, unscrew this. And of course, before you actually start taking anything apart, it's good idea to go ahead and take the battery loose. It's amazing this whole laptop appears to run off of a, off of a three cell battery. Can't really tell for sure, but it looks like it's just three cells. Who knows? I don't know if it has 18650s or not, but anyways. This door here pops off. And voila, there's a hard disk drive. Now to get this out, this slides, and you just simply pull it up. So here's our hard drive. The hard drive actually is inside of this little, looks to be like a protective cage. And it looks like they just simply have it that he's on. Probably not the best design in my books. <laughs> I think you're supposed to reuse that. Yeah, they got this whole thing just stuck to the hard drive. Now, in the case that you're you know, replacing the hard drive with another hard drive, you may want to reuse this, but we are actually installing a solid state drive. So I'm going to set that to the side. Now, this hard drive, let's see what thickness it is. It's definitely it's definitely the thicker variant. Um, I think it's I can't remember for sure what what exact size that is, but you have two different sizes of hard drives in regards to their thickness. So what we're gonna do here is see we got this brand new crucial solid state drive, 240 gigabyte. Okay, now the solid state drive I have here has this adapter shim. You can just stick it to the bottom or top of the drive. Even though this hard drive is actually thicker, I found this solid state drive seems to mount better when you leave this um, spacer off of there. So I'm just going to stick it in there. And push it right in. There's four pieces of rubber, one here, one here, and there's two more over here that help to cushion the, um, the drive. Now, in the case that you're installing a new hard drive, I guess the best option for you would be to carefully pull this stuff off of here. Now, considering this is Asus, I figured they would have had I figured they would have had a better design than this because hard drives do fail and have to be replaced. I find this kind of a shoddy idea of them. As you can see, this aluminum tears quite easily. Yeah, that's that's not really a good design in my books. Because it's very difficult to get off there without tearing it up. What this aluminum, you know, stuff acts like is at least sort of an anti-static shield. You see, this got stuck to the bottom of the drive. Now, there's actually what looks to be like insulating rubber down here. So that way, that aluminum doesn't actually short out your hard drive's circuit board. But, anyways, you know, with the solid state drive, I'd say 
just toss this into some solid dri solid state drive like this, and then you would just replace the cover. And reinstall your screw. And reinsert the battery. Which I know it's off topic, but it actually I thought this was a three cell, but it actually looks to be a six cell. Four eighteen six fifties back here and two eighteen fifteens up here. I've paid more attention to these ever since I started. <laughs> Turn apart laptop batteries for their 18650s. Which, by the way, that's what 18650 looks like. Now, job is complete, but the um, reason why we're replacing this drive is because this you know, hard drive has failed. You can still boot into Windows with it, but it's just extremely slow. Client has decided, you know, we don't need anything off the drive anymore. But if you're just like replacing a hard drive that's still working, and you don't have any means of installing Windows, you'd have to have you definitely want to use some sort of disk cloning software. Now, what's interesting is this solid state drive came with a Cronus True Image HD, so that way you can clone your data and stuff like that, which is cool. But in this case, we're going to be doing a fresh install of Windows, which in this case would be Windows 10. So, that is the process of swapping out the solid state disk in an Asus what it again? A53U laptop. Nothing much to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.